get your boots and your coat. Okay, this guy's, I'm picking up my man like this. Like he's gonna come out of work and be like, who's, who's that girl? La, 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 la. today um nyx cosmetics recently launched some new nude lipsticks and i have about four major favorite nude lipsticks so i really wanted to create a quick video about the new ones i didn't know they had new ones but this is just gonna be like a really quick like swatch of the nyx butter glosses i personally love them i've loved them forever so Honestly, they're like one of my favorite go-to glosses. They're cheap they're, and I hate people say cheap and affordable. It means the same thing. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> they're cheap and I just feel like I got some new ones, so might as well try them on. I'm not just gonna swatch them on my lip because if I'm being very, very clear, I never, like it never wear lip gloss on my lips by itself. Like that's just like a dry day in hell, whatever that saying is, a cool, cold day in hell. How will actually freeze over before you ever find me wearing gloss on my lips without something underneath it? So I feel like that's not really useful for my subscribers to know because I don't wear my makeup like that. So what we're gonna do today is lip combos or ways to match your nude lipsticks to their gloss and how I go about doing that. So right now, I forgot which one I have on. I think I have a mix of some on. Like, like honestly guys, makeup and especially lip products it's all about mixing, it's all about chemistry. I failed chemistry. That's not a big deal, that's not important. That's neither here nor there. But that's literally in essence what like my lip combinations usually are. They're a mixture, like I see whatever I think my lip is missing and I add it. So today I have eight butter glasses. Four are my usual suspects, which are Ginger Snap, Madeline, um, creme brulee, and angel food cake. And then my newer ones that I'm trying today are tiramisu, praline, bit of honey, and cinnamon roll. So those ones are new to my collections. These ones are my oldies. So again, I think I'm really gonna focus on lip combinations to show you guys how to wear these. Because now that you couldn't wear this by itself, I just, like, you think this is just gloss? No. <laughs> so sorry. Fucking insane. Be Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. You know who you, you, know you really look like? You fucking look like Luther Van Drop. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, because I just, I'm thinking of this on the fly because my makeup and hair looks good, so I figured film something else, damn it. So today I'm going to show you how I usually do my nude lip combos. For my nude lip combos, I include two other components before gloss. So I always have a lip liner. Um, today we're gonna be using Max Chestnut. Max Bittersweet is also a very good option. It's more wonderful, it's just a bit deeper. I love that one as well. But Sephora doesn't carry it, and obviously I wanna get my points, so I bought Chestnut. And then I also use a lipstick base, because while gloss is pigmented, and while the butter glosses are also pigmented, and they're affordable, and they're great, in order to get something like this going on, you need a base. You can't just put like lip liner and a gloss, and I'll show you why really quickly. But it just doesn't give you that oomph, that je ne sais quoi that you're looking for. So I usually have a base under there. This is Max Cosmo. It's an amplified lipstick. Um, it's a nice peach for those days where I want a little bit of something brighter. This is Oma Beauty's Eartha in their Badass Icon lipstick. It's a nice paler nude. Um, and it's more on the brown side, well, whereas this is Nude Sticks Blossom, and it's a paler peach, um, and this is Nude Sticks Greystone, and it's a nice um, soft chocolate brown. Those are my four bases. I do not deter them. I just want something that's stable. That's what I go with. And then the gloss just kind of ties it all together. So, okay. Oh, and I should take off what I currently have on my lips. I'll show you how I did this way. I hate doing lip swatching videos because Literally, my lips wanna fucking kill me after. Like, they're so over it. So, get your sharpener, get your boots and your coat. I'm just joking. And I always overline my lips, regardless. And they're mostly done already.
The gloss I had on today was NYX's Bit of Honey, which is new to me. And look, she's not bad by herself. Look at her, look at her. Mm, 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 mm. She looks good. I'm not gonna ever say that just wearing a gloss with a lip liner is inappropriate. I'm not, this is cute. But I'm missing just like the slightest bit of dimension. So what I had underneath was, where's my sharpener, where's my sharpener, where's my sharpener? So what I had taken was a bit of Nude Sticks's Blossom and I put that in the middle. I think that's really key. When you want a nice full lip, you don't need to put the lipstick all over your lips. It's really good to concentrate it in the center of your lips, give your lips that dimension. By spreading the color all across, you're not giving your lips that dimension, making it all one color and, and hence one shape. My favorite thing about the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Colors is that you can start very, very lightly and you can build and they can apply more coverage. So you can go from something being super subtle, like I just did, to being super bright and really cute. So I'm just gonna add a little bit there and then top it again with a bit of honey because obviously we just applied that on top of gloss. And it kind of just like melts everything together. And it's really that simple. But like you see how I wanna put myself side by side with just the gloss. It's not that it's bad. It just could be better. Like I think that everyone who's like, I want a glossy lip, you need to know the steps to take. Because what I like to avoid with gloss is looking like I just ate fried chicken. And I don't mean that in a racially charged way, I just mean like fried chicken's greasy. When I just have lip gloss on, that's what I look like sometimes. So to avoid that, having a nice pigment in there really changes the game, changes the tone. You see that? Bit of Honey is super cute. She's new to my collection, like I said. And I think that she ties in well with Blossom. What I try to do is, if we look back at my swatches and we look at these colors, I try to keep the tones the same. I'm not saying I wouldn't apply this over something like Eartha or like Greystone, but like those are your sure bets. So you can see automatically, Blossom's kind of pinky, this is kind of pinky. They're gonna go together. Like that's just the easy way to see it. So it's another tip. I've lost count about how many tips I've done giving you already. So another good favorite of mine is something that's super, super neutral. Okay. Let's start with Oma's Eartha. Which, on its own, stunning. Stunning. Not what we're here today, but stunning. Well, look how she ate that. You can top her with something like Ginger Snap. But Ginger Snap sometimes is a bit too dark. So what I do is I take a bit of Madeline and just like brighten up this area. Another tip is that you wanna be conscientious of the pigments that your glosses carry because Ginger Snap is darker so I was very careful to put her around the perimeter of my lips and make sure that I put Madeline in the center because if I put Ginger Snap all over, she will definitely conceal the beauty that is Eartha underneath. Again, chemistry guys, but like, another lip combo. <laughs> I feel like it's just like a good, reliable like chemistry lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, and it sounds simple, but you have to know how to use it because some people, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just saying some people just don't know how to use it. It just comes across muddy. I'm here to help, okay? I haven't tried cinnamon roll, tiramisu, or praline, so I wanna focus on those guys right now because I use angel food cake practically every tutorial I do, so I'm like, I don't really need to show y'all what she can really do. Let's use Greystone and Praline. I feel like that would be a cute little vibe. Another tip with the Magnetic Matte Lipstick is they actually carry a different color once they dry down fully. So if you want it to be that secondary color or a color that more so looks like the label, let it dry down for a couple minutes before you apply your lip gloss. Because the sorcery that is these lipsticks, don't get me started. And if you feel like you need more lip liner, add more lip liner. I don't know why people are afraid to like add stuff on top of stuff. Like if you put gloss on and you put on lip color, you can put gloss back on top. It's okay. Like it's fine. 
So let's add praline. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Praline is very, very similar in shade. So if you want a one dimensional look, this is perfect. You can stop here, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna add a touch of creme brulee in the middle. Blossom versus what was this again? Bit of honey and blossom. There's a difference, but either way, your lips look really good, full, snatched, luscious, all of that. Like they look good. So, NYX butter glosses are great for this because one, they're affordable, so you can pick up like many, many shades and do many, many looks. But you really only need before this, I had four, and then I just picked up another four. You don't need to have all eight but you can slowly build your NYX Butter Gloss collection. The way I'm about to put a bit of bit of honey on top of this, cause I like the warmth she brings to the table. I have to pee and get dressed, yeah. Something about, something. Bit of honey's the one. If I was to pick one favorite, it's Bit of Honey. She's new, she's in the, she's in the know, she's new to the crew, but she's about that life. See what she just did there? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it or if you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything I did today. And as always, subscribe to me. It doesn't pay my bills yet, but it will one day. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Why did I wave? <laughs> Gross. <laughs>